What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Jonathan 72 back here, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger Definitive Edition on PC. Now, we just finished off uh, getting the gate key back from Azala, and as we make our way through uh, Mystic Mountain, just trying to make our way back to the gate that we need to get to. <sighs> Alright, here we go. And uh, now that we've also got the Dreamstone, too, we can go back and work on uh, Forge in the Masamun. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Supersonic spin it is. Oh, somebody learned something. Hang on. Let's see. Who learned what? Let's see. Heal Beam. Robo Tackle. Cleave. Okay, so Nadia learned uh, Cure. Okay, that's good to know. Hang on. Uh oh! Alrighty. Yeah, these fights can be a little bit uh, ugh, repetitive, so back to the end of time we go. Hope everybody's doing good in the uh, middle of this uh, pandemic of ours. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see. I think we're at level... Oh, level 20 now. And Specchio has changed too. So remember, every 10 levels, he gets stronger just like you. We're not ready to fight him yet. We are not ready to fight him just yet. Heal up. Alrighty, let's see. And back to Medina Village we go. Ah. <sighs> Man, it's nice and cold out today too, so it's currently 7 o'clock on a Saturday as I record this. Oh man, let's see, now that we've got the Dreamstone, you know what, I think I like uh, having Luca in the party whenever I do this too. Melchior's Cabin. Dear, dear me, you've truly found Dreamstone. Yes, that would do nicely. With that, I can make the blade whole again. But first, the Masa Moon, and now this Dreamstone. How in the world did you... No, I suppose it doesn't matter. Make yourselves at home. This will take some time. Yes, it will. She'll lend the hand, too. And we watch them make the dream... Uh, put these together. <laughs> All right, then. How are we going to fix it? I love this music. Du, du, du. Da, 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 da. Of course, the Dreamstone must be redefined if we, if we are to repair the Massa Moon. But that is not all. The blade itself must be activated as well. You work on the Dreamstone. I will take care of the sword. Fear not, the great Luca knows her way around a workshop. <laughs> Forging weapons with Luca and Melchior. Reawaken the sword, I must first bring back, bring life back into the Shadow Remains. This is pretty complicated. Do you can go somewhere else for a while? You're ruining my concentration. Oh, excuse me? Okay, it's done. Alright, it's done. Could you bring me the Dreamstone? Okay, you're down here too. Well, that didn't take very long. <laughs> right? Pardon me for trying to be a good help. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Ooh. I love this scene. This is one of my favorite scenes in the game. Move my microphone over here real quick. Wow, they extended this little scene too. It usually kind of just brightens up and then just goes black. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Behold! Uh, 
you know, on this version, you know, on the older version, it would just darken and the monster moon would be shined up, but here it just kind of brightens. Behold, the massa moon and its glory. How peculiar. My sensor are detecting pulses of mental energy emanating from the massa moon. If you were expecting less of work, then you should have come to me. Chrono, let's get a, let's get the massa moon back to Glen. Yes, let's get it back to Glen. We shall get it back to Glen ASAP. And back to the year 600. You've come again. <gasps> this the sword. No, it could not be the massa moon. I love this scene right here. This little retrospect a little bit. I must ponder these turn of events. You may remain here you may remain here for the night. Yeah, sleeping on the, the rocks? Ugh. That'd be pretty painful right there. Yeah, pretty painful indeed if you ask me. You aren't leaving, are you? I am. It's long past since we reclaimed the badge from the Frog King. I need to see that sword with my own eyes. This kingdom has a need of you. Lena and I will need you as well as I see that until you return. As long as there is life in these bones, she'll come my way. Well then, by your leave. And, uh, by your leave it is, definitely. <sighs> Sir Cyrus! Here we go. On behalf of your knighthood, we wish you a safe journey and Godspeed. Trust the kingdom's protection of you and you keep safe from your enemies. Alrighty, here we go. Part of the delay, let's let us be on our way. Hey, that rhymes. Man, would you look at that? It's Glenn himself. Glenn, you be careful too. Be well, your majesty. Be well, your majesty. Loki doesn't even have much of himself too. Not even Loki himself can do it. Alright. Oh, we're looking at the Frog Queen. So, you see the hero's badge? Not of the Kingdom of Men? Come and take it. And then if you can. <sighs> this is what I need to do. Nirvana Strike! <laughs> do not think I'll forget this. God damn it! I don't know who that woman is. They don't say anything about that woman, though. Ugh. Glenn, watch out! Cyrus, your sword. The Master Moon. Now, always look at that. It's Ozzy. And Magus. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. <sighs> You've not bested me yet. Cyrus, <laughs> I'm done for. Listen to me, Glenn. I will hold him here. Use that chance to escape. But, but... Stay, and you only kill us both. Go, Glenn. Mm. And you better not worry yourself, Cyrus. I do not think you've the time to cons be concerned for this well-being of others. I do it. Ooh, Cyrus! Run, Glenn. R run, McQueen. Take care of Queen Lean. I beg. Uh-huh, and uh, yeah, burnt, burnt alive by his magic, too. Just roasting him. No need for a Viking funeral when it comes to that, too. Hmm, <clears throat> what's the matter? You're not gonna try your luck? <laughs> like a scared little frog with no pond to jump into. How about it, Lord Magus? Can you give him a more fitting form? Hmm, <clears throat> very well. No act of defiance goes unpunished. Yep. And uh gave him a gave him a froggy form himself. Mm-hmm. And uh that's Ah no more that's more like it, you spineless wimp. Mm-hmm. Ten long years have passed. Have I the strength? Cyrus. 
I love it. I really do. Awaken Chrono. There you go. I don't know. I do not know how far my skills will carry me, but I will put them to the test. Let us go to Magus' keep. It's right, there's no small thing. Do you understand the odds that we face? Hmm. Nothing can beat science. I mean, science got us the Master Moon as well. We must do it for the future. We must do it for the future. I think we got the team that we need right now. Well, and before we uh, go to Magus' castle, we need to go to the end of time and fortify Glenn with magic. Okay, to the end of time, we are back. Hold on. Sorry about that. And we are back at the end of time. Now, now that we got Glenn in the party, we need to fortify him with water magic. <laughs> now there's a weird fellow. It looks like his power is water. And a frog. Who would have guessed it, huh? It's all magical! Minimo! Magical! Yes. Glenn learned to use magic. And you know what? While we're at it, though, we might as well get some practice in. So let's uh, see how we're doing. Probably not as good as we need to go. Uh, yep, look at that. See, we're not ready. <laughs> yep, we're not ready. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we're a little behind. <laughs> yep, not ready. So yeah, let's uh, go back and let's go to Magus' castle, shall we? I love this scene too. You know, my last playthrough, I actually just uh, I used this as an intro, and oh. there's a uh, there's young Lynn there. Stop that! Oh no, it's Cyrus! Run! <sighs> He's still spinning. <laughs> Poor kid. Thank you, Cyrus. Glenn, there are times when a man must stand and face things that trouble him. Well, he's but a boy, though, still. It hurts to be hit. I cannot hurt another. No, not even them. You're too soft, Glenn. I think I like the original version where he says, You're a marshmallow, Glenn. He's got a good heart, though, but man, he's mighty fine with a sword. Glenn, I've decided to join knighthood. Mm, I thought as much. You'll be a fine knight, I'm sure of it. Won't you come with me? <sighs> I I cannot. But why? You're better than a sword with I am. You're a better sword than I. You've always been. You know, there's a there's a lot of truth, you know, behind people who are, you know, who have you know. We don't want to hurt others who are better with weapons, too. I haven't the nerve. I haven't the nerve it takes to be a knight. In a real battle, I would fear... The fear would take me. You'd be surprised. Some people just have it in them. It just takes a little bit to get it out of them. I mean, the military, you know, breaks you down and builds you back up for a reason. No! Ugh! Ugh! I love this tune. Man, it takes me right back to my childhood too. Oops. <laughs> I don't have a, water, <laughs> have a cap on this bottle. <laughs> and there goes the hero medal. The badge. The hero's badge. God damn, I love this scene. The master moon if you please. The master moon if you please. Down at the ground it goes. Hmm. I'm gonna mute myself for a second.
Toei Animation, Square Enix, Toriyama, if you're listening or if you're watching, you need to make Chrono Trigger an anime already. Oh, wow. What a badass, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just haven't fixed that glitch either, but you know what? I love it. Yes! And in the next episode, Magic Cave, and then we head to Magus's Castle. Or the Fiend Lord's Castle, as it's called. So, uh, we'll see you on the next episode in one of my most favorite parts of this game. Much love, and peace!